Unfortunately, a lot of countries worldwide are not that gay friendly, but this is not the case for Iceland. Iceland is becoming more and more of an ideal gay travel destination, and this is due to the travel agency Pink Iceland, who concentrates mainly on gay travelers. Yes, and with us today we have co-founder Eva. Uh, Eva, why did you start Pink Iceland? Well, uh, it was kind of a passion, I guess. Uh, I always thought that we could do something more for uh, queer travelers. Uh, and when I say queer, I mean LGBT uh, travelers, basically. And uh, it can still be uncomfortable for uh, queer travelers to travel, actually. Um, and I even experienced it so, so firsthand, actually, with my girlfriend when we are checking in hotels and so on. Always asked about, uh, you kind of have to explain yourself, you know. Um, so it, it kind of just made sense, you know. And why, why do you guys make it different in Iceland? Well, uh, I mean, we stand equal um, to straight people in the eyes of the law. So, and I think overall the society here is quite uh, gay friendly. And, um, and again, Iceland is, is, is kind of a very attractive destination also for the nature. And uh, because it's gay friendly as well, uh, it kind of offers the total package, I guess, for, for gay travelers. Yeah, and gay marriage uh, is uh, legal in Iceland. That's probably also a big part of your business. Of course, yeah. We we are uh, we kind of became wedding planners. Uh, it was not really on the plan being one, but <laughs> but we are very busy with uh, weddings as well. Um, and we have just one mar marriage law here in Iceland as well. So um, and uh, I think that's that's uh, that's probably one of the most um, giving part of our business. I guess is our other marriages, our other weddings. What makes it a beautiful wedding location? Well, the nature. Uh, the nature here is stunning and uh, I think probably 90% of our, our couples, they get married somewhere outdoor. Uh, so near a glacier, a waterfall, uh, you know, some black beaches or something stunning like that. Wow. And how, how's the weather? Is the weather very good for, for outside <laughs> weddings? Well, <laughs> you know, it depends how you look at it. <laughs> uh, well, it, it, of course, we are in the North Atlantic and uh, the weather can be quite changeable, uh, which is also fascinating. And we always have to have a plan B. So it, we have the chance of going inside. But we, that, can be, that can mean going inside a cave or something like that. So it doesn't need to be indoor. Um, and uh, the weather is a challenge, but it's also you know, something to work with. A plus. <laughs> yeah. I guess so, so. And, and me and Corinne, could we come on one of your trips in Iceland? We're straight, we by can. the way. Yes. <laughs> well, we happen to be quite straight friendly as well. So <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, uh, we don't judge people, you know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. sexuality. <laughs> no, but we, oh, we very often actually get this question because we, a lot of straight uh, couples, um, you know, we have we planned a numerous of uh, straight weddings as well and of course we we kind of just like to work with lovely people that's all so just be nice and, and then we are, then we are good I like working with lovely people too yes <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you very much uh, for all awesome. your information and if you guys want to check more about pink Iceland uh, go to their website <laughs>